you, Penny and Gordon, for for letting us drop in. Talk us through some of the some of the achievements you've had over the years. Well, Gordon should start because he already won Supreme Champion at Crufts wow. before I met him. Born I have dancing master. Yes, that was his yeah. first CC. And wow. And that was under Catherine Sutton. That's quite an incredible win as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. But of course nerve-wracking to go out and collect the other two CCs, you know. He, yeah. Once he got his title, Gordon retired him and he was just kept at home. Um, so that's that's quite incredible stuff f from from way back then. We'll we'll go back even further though. Yeah. Um, they are a, obviously a British native yeah. breed. What was the English setter bred for? It was mainly a dual purpose dog. Right. Um, in fact, it is generally recognised that um, Laverick was the founder of the English setter, and obviously at that time it was purely for work. You know, strictly for birds, not yeah. not for no, rabbits not or any other yeah. game, not retrieving. You know, if you have a puppy, they've often got some working instincts still. You right. know, you'll see them pointing at birds and <laughs> setting at chickens, mind do. But, you know, people find it difficult to bring out that trait, if they wish to even, because, you know, they're how not... many people have got access to the moors? So they, they have to be uh, intelligent breeds, level-headed, athletic. Yeah. Yes all things that are vital to working and both showing as well. Yes, we yeah. have, you know, that they have kept the English setter, you know, to be a very active sporting dog, very capable of doing a, a day's galloping and, you know, going over harsh terrain. They're, they're very active dogs. Hmm. But over the years, one could say the show setter now hmm. is entirely different to the working setter. Right. You get very, very sharp, few show setters that could do yeah, work. they're not as fast as the working, and you know, they're, they're slower. slower. We have two people in the breed that um, keep show setters hmm. and also have their working setters. Right, OK. Oh. Ah. And they go for two months, three months to Scotland every year <laughs> with a team. Right, wow. So the, the origins of the breed can be traced back several centuries, yes. but how was the breed developed? To be honest with you, there are various suggestions, but I don't think anyone has categorically said it is a mating of this and this. I don't, I've never read that at all. Well, even when um, Laverick, who was born in 1800, um, there were setters of a kind before that, mm. in fact, from the 13th century. Right, well, and all the setters, each have a beautiful coat, lovely colour. Well, the, the English setter is basically a white background with what they call belton. Right. There is the blue belton and tan, which people call the tricolour. Yep. There's the orange belton. There was a lemon belton years right. ago when wow. I was showing. Yeah. And then there's the blue Belton, which is like the just white with silver, white with some black. In more recent years, the popularity of the breed has, has somewhat dwindled. Yeah, yeah. They dropped onto the vulnerable list. Yes, they did. Yeah. Why do you think that was? Well, people's lifestyles have changed. They want a smaller dog. People haven't got the gardens they had, mm. perhaps. Do you think they should be more popular? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah I think they should. Oh, I, don't, I don't understand why they're not, because they have the most wonderful temperaments. Um, you know, they are just wonderful dogs. They're so loyal. They're amiable. They like people. They like other animals. And with such a gentle nature, you would expect to be perfect for children and families. They are. Oh, They're lovely yes, with children. Yeah. They are beautiful with children. So what do you expect to see in an English setter's appearance? Elegance. Yeah. A lovely head and expression. It's a must. They should be an honest dog, but they've got to have some glamour. So we, we've we've gone through the whole breed. Uh, it's past. What do you see in the future? Well, we don't have any new people starting up as breeders. You know, as we were when we started, we used to go and ask people, and you know, the doyens of the breed, um, and they were kind. They always had time to stand and talk. To